The word guru means a teacher or spiritual guide. The guru teaches and the Sikh learns. The Sikhs follow the teachings of 10 succeeding gurus that have shaped Sikhism. The first and most important guru is Guru Nanak, the founder of Sikhism. Born in 1469 CE near what is today Lahore, Pakistan. Nanak was seen Guru Nanak. Oh, look at him, so cute. He has a turban and a baby bottle. Special even as a child. As a baby, he was. Yeah, NDP minister is. Yeah, exactly. NDP minister is Sikh in Canada. I don't think that guy is a good representation, though. Yeah. Um, as a baby, he was said to have had the laugh of an adult man. Wait, what? That's not creepy at all. Today, Lahore, Pakistan. Nanak was seen as special even as a child. As a baby, he was said to have had the laugh of an adult man. That's not cute, okay? That is very weird. Imagine having a baby who is laughing like an adult man. That is creepy stuff. Look at this cartoon. They're so cute. Everybody here is so cute. Here comes the bird. <laughs> 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 that, is so <laughs> that was so funny. I want to watch that again. <laughs> I want to watch that again. Hold on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. As a baby, he was said. To <laughs> As a baby, he was said to have had the laugh of an adult. <laughs> Okay, let's let's watch that again. Had the laugh of an adult man. Here comes the bird. <laughs> As a teenager, he preferred to listen to Hindu saints and Sufi Muslim preachers. Oh, look, see, I t Hindu saints and Sufi Muslim Muslim preachers. Ooh, so the Islam version of influence was from Sufis. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, exactly, Toril. Imagine a baby laughing like the Joker. Hmm, so Sufi Islam plus Hindu saints had an effect on his childhood, okay? Rather than his own parents. As an adult, Nanak would settle in Sultanpur, where he worked for the government. The actions of his fellow government officials and the rich and powerful disgusted him as they exploited ordinary working people. And he hated the caste divisions. Oh my god, again, every religion's founder was like, this is the same story every time, every time, not very original. Okay, Muhammad, he looked around like, oh my god, so much corruption, everybody being treated right, I guess I'll bring a new religion. Same, Jesus, like, oh my god, these people, these temple people, they're corrupted, they, they're corrupting my father's house, everybody's corrupt, the religious authority is corrupt, I guess I bring a new religion. Who else was that? Um, wait, again, Zoroastrianism. Prophet Zartosht, right? He was like, oh my God, the religious authorities around me, they're so corrupt. They're, cor they're corrupting the people. They're cheating people. I guess I make a new religion. I mean, it, and, uh, well, I guess God will tell me to make a new religion. Uh, all of them basically said that, right? And then, now this guy. Same story every time. Every time. Well, not every time. Hinduism doesn't have prophets, right? So... But this is very similar, very similar story. That he saw all around him. Wait, look at this! Even the animation! Do you guys remember when we were doing Zoroastrianism? And Zartosh was like in the river and he was doing some religious rituals and then God started speaking to him? This is exactly the same. He, he, this guy is using the same animation except now, what was this guy's name? I forgot his name. But now it's the, the, I remember it was the same place. But Prophet Zaratush was here instead. Hold on. As they exploited ordinary working people. And he hated the caste divisions that he saw. <gasps> he hated the caste divisions in Hinduism. Hmm. Okay, okay. I can relate. I can relate with this guy. What's his name? Totally forgot his name. All around him. One day while bathing <gasps> in a river near Sultanpur, Nanak had a miraculous experience. Yeah, Prophet Zartosh was in the river as well when he had the miraculous experience where he realized like, oh, I guess I'm making your... Wait, wasn't Jesus also in the river when he was being baptized? Okay, so Muhammad was in a cave. Zartosh, Jesus, and this dude, which I forgot his name, were in the river. 
seems keep seeming like certain note certain themes keep reappearing. Katie's saying, yeah, it's the same background where Guru Nanak, oh, Guru Nanak, Nanak replaced Larissa. Yeah, exactly. It's the same exact background. Guru Nanak, Nanak. He was swept up. There is God in Hinduism called, well, we'll get to it. Guys, don't get ahead of me. Up into God's court where God spoke to him. Nanak. <laughs> oh, okay. So. One difference is that these other prophets, God came to them, but apparently Nanak was taken to God. I mean, Muhammad had that experience as well, but way into his prophethood, right? So Muhammad's first experience was not like, oh yeah, I guess I'm going to God. God came to Muhammad, right? But at some point he was like ascended to heaven and all that. But this Nanak experience was... Muhammad's experience right from the beginning. Nanak had a miraculous experience. He was swept up into God's court where God... I like how he doesn't stop washing himself. <laughs> Even though he was like swept into God's court. This is God's court. Wow, God's court just looks pretty epic. Uh, but he's like, where are we? Like, but he's like still washes. Spoke to him. Nanak reappeared three days later, declaring there is no... Three days later. I've heard that somewhere before. Three days later. Hmm. This seems familiar. And I don't know. One of these religions has something three days related. Was Muhammad up in the cave for three days before... And three days, okay, so the prophet, nope, yeah, I don't know, I heard this three days somewhere, I, it doesn't, it's not clicking right now, oh yeah, maybe that, oh, Jesus resurrection, hey, yeah, that's two, Jesus resurrection three days later, yeah, 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 that too, but, but Islam has something with three days too. What's up with the number three in most religions? Yeah. Jesus revived himself after getting killed. Yeah. Okay, but Jesus' resurrection. You you guys' minds went right to Christianity. Yeah, but actually you're right. Christianity is more relevant here. No Hindu, and there is no Muslim. There was only God. The mm, wait. Like, okay, come on. Everyone wants to pretend like, hey, other world guys, there's a religion, but ours is not a religion. We're above all of that. We're all about God. Like, yeah, I heard that everybody says that, right? Christianity's like, ah, oh, like, there is no Islam and Judaism. No, 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 we don't, we're not, we don't do religions. We have a relationship with Jesus. All right? So this guy is doing the same thing. And like, oh, no, there is no Muslim or Hindu. It's just God. Well, it's also Sikhs now, right? So you guys playing the same game as everyone else. Stop pretending like you're above all that. Declaring there is no Hindu and there is no Muslim. There was only God. The well, yeah, now, there is no Hindu, there is no Muslim, but there's Sikhs now. So, yeah, don't pretend like you're different. This was a message inspired by his experience with God. One that spoke in favor of the equality of humankind and against caste, ethnic, and religious divisions. Hey, you know what else? What other religion speaks against caste? Um, Islam. Okay, so this is not original, man. Like, so equality of humankind. Wait, is there? So Islam keeps pretending like, yeah, they're, they're not about ethnic, ethnic differences or caste differences and humans are equal, but they're... The if you look check the footnotes, you'll see that they're equal as long as they're male and they're they're free and they're Muslim, right? So the key thing we have to pay attention to right now is that is this equality that they're teaching here? Is this equality as long as you're Sikh, or are Sikhs and non-Sikhs equal in Sikhism? Okay. Oh yeah, you're right. Pyra is saying. Um, you, Prophet Yunus was in the end of whale for three days too, right? Yeah, I think so. Was it three days? 
Moses what up was up in the oh the guy that was up in the mountain for three days was Moses, not Muhammad. Hmm. Which actually reminds me that that's a very interesting thing. Moses and Muhammad were both at the, up in the mountain when God came to brought a revelation to them. Jesus was baptized in the river of Jordan. That's another similarity. Yes, yes, yeah. I... Hmm. Divisions. Nanak would later say, accept all humans as your equals and let them be your only sect. Okay. So do they need to be Sikh or do they not to be need to be Sikh? For this, is this, do conditions apply? Nine human gurus followed Nanak. All nine. Okay, wait. Katie is saying in Islam, I think it's only permissible for a Muslim to be mad at his brother for three days. No, you're getting into too much detail. We're talking about foundations of religion. Uh, I mean, the main core beliefs. Okay, so nine human gurus followed Nanak. So th there's ten of them. Nanak is the, the main one, and nine of them followed them. Followed this dude. Look at this sign. Is that the Om sign on his hand? That's the Om sign on his hand. Like, see, the, that's the influence of Hinduism. Is that Om? Yeah, that's the Om sign. Nine human gurus. Human gurus. Thanks for the specification. Nine human gurus followed, like, as opposed to what? Nine human gurus followed the neck, all preaching the same message of one God and the equality. All preaching the same message of one God. Look at this one. This guy looks like a baby. And the equality of humankind. Two fundamental events that shaped Sikh history was the martyrdom of two gurus. The first was the fifth guru, Guru Arjan, who was roasted alive by the Mughal Emperor Jah Ooh, I don't like that. Uh who was roasted alive by the Mughal Emperor Jahangir. The next martyr will be the ninth Guru, Guru Tegh Bahadur. He was beheaded by the Mughals while attempting to defend the religious rights of Hindus. His okay, so, wow, so they were actually defending Hindus, not even Sikhs. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. That's like secularism a little bit. But they were both, they were both martyred by the Mongol Empire, which means by an Islamic Empire. Right, so mo the martyrdoms didn't happen by the hands of the Hindus, but by the Muslims' empire. Rights of Hindus. His son, Guru Gobind Rai, the tenth and final human guru, started a new Sikh community. If it was 12 gurus instead of 10, I would lose my mind, okay? If this was 12 gurus, and like the last one is the tenth one, okay? But if the last one was the twelfth one, I would be like, Come on, guys, you're not even pretending anymore. You guys even, yeah, have you no shame in your copy pasta stuff? Human Guru started a new. Oh, let me see. Kraton is saying once you adopt the Guru or equivalent title, you stand against progress. Okay. New Sikh community called the Khalsa. And. And wait, hold on. We lost this. Mughals while attempting to defend the religious rights of Hindus. His son, Guru Gobind Rai, the tenth and final human guru, started a new Sikh community called the Khalsa and ended the line of human gurus by making the Guru Granth Sahib, the Sikh holy book, the last living guru. We'll oh wait, so this is the eleventh guru? The book itself is a guru. It's a living guru. Kind of like the constitution of the United States, which is like a living document, as some people say. But this living here means something else. Um, oh yeah, living actually means something else because this is like not changing. Is this document is not supposed to change, right? So they do they the six like literally think that this book is alive, right? That's my understanding. We'll take a closer look at both of these in a bit. So with that brief history out of the way, wait. Let let's re pay attention to that one more time. Sikh community so, called the Khalsa. So Sikh, he made a Sikh community and he has a he the the last guru he made the Sikh community called Khalsa and he came he made a book and ended the line of human gurus by making the Oh that's why he said human gurus because the gurus ended up being non human after the tenth guru. Right? So earlier he said like there's ten human gurus as opposed to a book guru, which is a living book. Guru Granth Sahib the Sikh holy book. Grand Sahib. Why does it say Sahib? Book. Is that has anything to do with. S s no, I don't think so. Asked living guru.